Let's we're see. we're not even gonna tell them what time it is. Okay. <laughs> Our first night in Hong Kong. We didn't freeze to death. This thing right here is not a heater, only air conditioning. Our Wi-Fi will not post yesterday's vlog. It says it has 800 minutes remaining. So we're gonna try to find a coffee shop and get a Tupelo and drink some coffee. And drink some coffee. Lots of coffee. Cause it's freezing outside. It's not freezing, it's like 55 degrees, which in comparison to Singapore is freezing. I'm wearing like 40% of the clothes I brought right now. <laughs> you just layered, oh nice socks. Mm. Are you mad at me? for taking us to a cold place on accident. I'm trying to have a good attitude. <laughs> the room that we're staying in really isn't that bad, but the hallways to get there, <laughs> they stink and they look pretty creepy. <laughs> Eat a uh, egg ball. I think we found the Hong Kong equivalent of pancakes. You get uh, chocolate egg balls. Chocolate egg balls. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Wow. All right. Tara's gonna try the chocolate egg balls. Like you love it either. It's edible. Yeah. Alright, let's get coffee. Okay. Well, I know coffee doesn't exist, so. It probably does. We just can't find it. We're gonna try one that's in the mall. It had a bunch of reviews in English on Yelp, so. I feel like this one's promising. We found the one! The one! The one I've been searching for! This is where we're going. We found coffee. First try. This is what I'm talking about. Does that look better than the powdered coffee we've been drinking for the past <laughs> week? Of coffee with a heart on it. I am so happy. I need a fork for my meat Our coffee addiction is getting a little expensive. But if it keeps her happy. What? Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. If you watch and edit the videos, you'll see. A productive afternoon of working on our computers with a lot of coffee and a great view. I feel like this is by far the biggest cup of coffee we've had since we left. That's what I'm talking about, Hong Kong. Way to go. to kind of get it on. This was my favorite cereal from the organic section at Kroger and it exists in Hong Kong. <laughs> One of the things that we've discovered that we really like to do in each new city is go to the grocery store. We're all so different and have all kinds of things that we've never seen before and we love exploring them. It's one of like the great things about travel is even little things like going to the grocery store turn into an adventure. Is that? That, that. We are currently consulting with our two favorite travel advisors, Lonely Planet and Trip Advisor, on where to eat dinner tonight. There's yeah, the little cold. Trip Advisor suggested a highly rated dim sum restaurant for dinner. So we are attempting to find that, and then after dinner, we are headed to the horse races. Proper English, as Kara would make me say, would be heading to the horse races. Yeah. Because we don't head it somewhere in the future. No. That place looked a little too authentic for us. But it was not 
the dim sum restaurant that we were trying to find. So far, this has been one of the hardest cities to navigate because everything is either like up four floors away from the street or down below the street. So Google Maps puts you in like the general area, but then it still takes like 15 minutes to try to figure out where you're going. Tara's hungry, not super happy. How you feeling? It's like an Asian tapas restaurant. I did not mean to take you to this fancy of a restaurant. Once again, we're sitting next to a lot of people, so filming is kind of awkward. Kara seems to not care. We got our first item. Oh wow, those are very eggy. Thank you. Veggie mushroom donuts. These are the instructions on how to eat the dumpling. Soy sauce and vinegar in the ginger dish. Dip the dumpling in the sauce. Poke a small hole to release the broth. Enjoy with some ginger. Okay, I'm gonna try to follow the steps correctly. Nothing's coming out. I think your dumpling doesn't look like the one in the picture. I think I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah. There we go. These are our ricey, porky dumplings. Fantastic, but so hot. It's all the steam. I think they're hot. This restaurant has the most attentive staff of any restaurant I've ever been to. I'm gonna finish my tea and see how long it takes them to refill it. We don't know how to pay again. How do we pay? Good, but expensive. The tea was not free. We accidentally just had our one fancy meal in Hong Kong. <laughs> How you feel about that? Not my fault. I did not pick this restaurant. Named it. I picked it. But I would have probably suggested going somewhere else. But after walking all the way here, D would have killed me. Eating up my hot hands. Now we're going to bet on some horses to win the money back that we spent on dinner. <laughs> here we go. Shower. Perfect timing. Say we see him again. Yep. One more time. Well, hello. We're making it this time. Oh, look at all that room in there. Any of them are getting out. Attack! Tell them how many. The tell them how many waves of people we sat through. <laughs> we probably sat through five or six. No, way more. Maybe more? At least like ten. Ten? Ten, ten waves of people. And now we're on the train. I don't know if we're getting off. <laughs> New challenge: getting off the train. Come on, the more the merrier. Let's squish them here. We got That was crazy. He just thought the subway in Tokyo was bad. That looks like us. Made it in. Oh, 
great is ready to go. Chopsticks as she shovels three pieces of rice into her mouth. 